up and it's almost summertime. And as you guys know, when that happens, the growing comes outside. So I was getting ready to shut all the lights off inside where we do all our figs and our petunias and all the other little odds and ends that we've been doing through the winter. And then right at the tail end of it, I got a message on Instagram from Mars Hydro. Now, if you haven't heard of Mars Hydro yet, it's a company that sells lighting and tents for growing indoors. So they primarily focus on lighting and like I said, grow tents for special plants medicinal plants and so they contacted me and said hey how would you like one of our new lights to try out to grow indoors for yourself I said sure why not I'd love to try your lights out and they said good go ahead and make a video and grow us a whole bunch of medicinal herbs and show everybody just exactly how well our lights do well <laughs> We don't do that here on this channel. So I wrote him back and I said, I'd love to try your lights out on like some peppers and tomatoes and garden vegetable plants and things like that. But uh, I just don't grow those types of plants here on this channel. I thought at that point we were done, but uh, they came back to me and they said, you know what? We'd love for you to just get this information out there. We believe in our lights so much. Go ahead and try them out on whatever you want to grow. So to make this long story a little bit shorter, I got a package in the mail. Now, before we go any further, I want to explain something about this company. So there are lower end and higher end companies when it comes to LED lighting and Mars Hydro lies somewhere in the middle. You can find lighting for a hundred bucks or less. You can find lighting for a thousand dollars or more. This particular light right here, the TSL 2000 is right at about $300 on Amazon. So if you guys want, I'll put a link in the description down below. You can go check them out now and see what you think for yourself. Now this particular grow light is for a two by four grow tent. And it's important that you have a tent paired with your light because one, it's got to fit inside of the tent. And two, a tent that is too big for a light won't reflect the light as well off of the sides and you won't get your biggest bang for your buck. A tent that's too small, once again, the light won't fit. So without wasting any more time, let's get this box open. All right, so there it all is. That is a beautiful looking light. And actually, I didn't know it was gonna come with this. We've got a temperature and humidity meter here. So I'll have to take a look at that guy. That's pretty cool. Comes in the box, it was just sitting there when I opened it. And then we've got a timer for uh, you medicinal plant growers. But uh, you can plug this guy right in and set your time and you'll be able to do whatever timing cycle you want to grow your plants out. We've got a little user's manual here. Let's see. Gives you all the uh, different specs on this. And then just some installation information over here. Pretty cool. Let's take a look here a little deeper. We've got some uh, tie straps here. Let's get this out of the box now and we can see exactly what we've got. All right, and there she is flipped over. And this little light is a beauty. So there's a couple things that I've noticed right off the bat that I just want to tell you guys about. This light right here, this part always looked kind of flimsy to me when I would watch videos of it, but I'm actually really surprised at just how strong this is. It's thicker than I thought it would be, and it's durable, it's stiff, it's not going anywhere. That's essentially the reflector and serves as a heat sink for these lights. So this LED lighting is full spectrum. These little guys are so much better than the fluorescent tubes that we've been using and then even metal halides. Metal halide lighting tends to give off about 75% of its energy as heat and not lighting. And that's what people use in the past. In fact, I've got my own experience with metal halide lighting in the saltwater aquarium trade and I used to have saltwater fish guys and I had two 250 watt metal halide bulbs and let me tell you they were expensive they put off a massive amount of heat and not as much lighting as they should have for as much wattage as they were drawing these guys right here will pull 300 watts but they'll do basically what almost a 1000 watt bulb will do if you've got this in the right tent so what that means is you could grow the best peppers, the best tomatoes, just about any of the best vegetable that you would want to in a two by four foot area. You could do this all winter long when you can't garden outside. 
All right, so far I'm pretty impressed. The quality on this is pretty good. I mean, it's a solid built unit. It's thicker metal than I thought it was. Everything seems real solid and like it's built well. You can see that the LEDs are all just splayed out there beautifully. It's a full spectrum lighting. We've got plenty of reds and blues throughout there. I can see them as I look through it. All right, so we're out in the greenhouse right now, so this area isn't gonna do us much good. I think we need to take this into a dark room and flip these lights on. Boom! Dang, this thing lights up. Holy buckets. And these lights never really look as bright as they do in real life, especially when the camera starts adjusting, but look at that. Look at all those beautiful LEDs, guys. Wow! I am really impressed with that. This company did a great job, man. And like I said, I've been watching them for several years now and just kind of biding my time and waiting until the right time to buy. And I just, <laughs> these guys contacted me and wanted to send me this light and I was pretty excited about it. But I'll tell you right now, they've come a long way, this company, and they're really starting to use more top-notch products. Look at that, isn't that so cool? Isn't that just fantastic? Look at that, they got the little red diodes and the blues and the yellows. It's just full spectrum lighting, man. One of the other really cool things that sold me on these LEDs is the longevity of them. These things will last for around 10 years depending on how long you use them. But 10 years is a long time, guys. So you're not spending that much money to begin with. And then they're gonna last 10 years. A metal halide bulb is gonna last you about one to two years depending on how much you use it but i know in the aquarium hobby about a year and then they're really not helping out those corals too much but anyway this is the way to go these leds are just they're cheaper they're more efficient they're better in the long run they're better for the environment they're better for your wallet <laughs> this is just the way to go so I wanted to show you guys one more little thing about this light. So a lot of people wonder about heat when it comes to these things. Well, this uh, big aluminum piece here is the actual heat sink. And I'll show you right now, this light's been on for like, I don't know, like seven, eight minutes now. And although it is very, very warm right here, you can see I can hold my hand on this as long as I want to. It doesn't burn, it's just, it's just real warm. If I touch the drivers here, the drivers, I was actually kind of surprised. I thought I'd have a lot more heat coming out of these guys. These drivers are probably half as warm, actually maybe just a quarter of the warmth of the top of this, probably closer to like 25% of the warmth. These drivers are, gosh, they're almost cool to the touch. There's really no heat coming out of them at all, which is really cool. The heat dispersal on this is just absolutely fantastic. And the cool thing about these LEDs, like I said before, is the, the energy output is in the lighting for these things. It's not in heat like the metal halides are. And even the fluorescents to an extent are not as efficient as these LED lights are. So in case you guys were wondering about the heat output, there's virtually no heat at all. I could sit here for the rest of my life and hold this. There's no heat at all right here on this driver. This, I could sit here the rest of my life with my hand on this thing, and it's just really, really warm. But it's not bad at all. And let's take a look. Just to show you, they've actually got this portion where the drivers are sitting. It's kind of built up. There's a gap flowing all the way under there. There we go. And so air can flow under there, and these guys can cool off. So, you know, they actually built these so that you've got extended cables here and they're actually long cords i could move these drivers somewhere else i could actually mount them on the wall over there if i was worried about the heat but geez there is no heat at all there's a, just barely any heat coming up right here because this is floating up the heat from this is floating up here and it's hitting the bottom of this metal panel but there's a gap there and so air can flow under there perfectly I just, I don't think it's a concern. I don't think you would need to move them anywhere else. Anyway, just something to think about, something to consider for those of you that are interested. All right, so now we gotta talk about something. When am I gonna actually start this project? So when the company sent this to me, they actually sent me a grow tent as well, but they sent me the grow tent that was the three by three, and this light won't fit inside of it. So I contacted the company and I said, hey guys, you sent me the wrong grow tent. And they said, oh man, that was our mistake. We're so sorry, keep the grow tent. 
we're going to send you another one that will fit this light. So that's what we're waiting on. We're waiting on a grow tent that's going to fit this light. Now, here's the thing. Along with this LED lighting, you know, you can, you've got bright light right here. You can see, I mean, that is just massively bright light. The camera always adjusts to it, but it is so much brighter in real life. But you lose some of that out to the side. And so you really need something that's going to reflect a lot of the light off of the walls and down onto whatever plants you've got. And so, yes, you could grow underneath this light right here as it sits right now in this room. But if you had a tent around it, you're going to get much better light just blasting down on your plants. And that's going to come in handy when it comes to actually producing flowers and blooms and vegetables and things that, you know, actually plants that are going to produce in the end, not just put on vegetative growth. So we're waiting on this tent. In the meantime, we'll wait patiently, but there's one more thing that may happen. We'll see. Along with that three by three grow tent, they said they may be able to send me a light that actually fits that tent as well. So we may have a lot of projects coming down the pike for you guys with indoor growing of vegetables and other flowers and just about anything you guys would want to watch us grow indoors here on this channel. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. I'm having fun getting this all put together. We are going to wait and see what happens when they send me that new grow tent. We're going to get this all set up. I'll show you that as well. The unboxing, the setup, how all this is going to work. And in the meantime, we're going to have to be patient, but I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe if you want to follow along and see where this goes. Have a fantastic week, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Adios.